Are you feeling a little frightened lately? Do you have some worries? Hi, I'm Dr. Wendy Walsh. You know, there are two big fears that most everybody is sharing these days. And the fears are over economic survival, finances, job loss, being able to pay bills during this quarantine time. And secondly, health concerns, whether you'll actually contract the virus, whether you're trying to protect some family members, especially the elderly who might get sick. These can cause great worries for many, many people. Now, I do wanna remind you that our neurochemistry is different, that some people are wired in a way that they seem to not spiral down into anxiety and depression. And if you're one of those lucky people, I want you to count your blessings and also cut some slack to the rest of us, okay? Because that's not as common as what the rest of us are experiencing. Now, I want to talk about these two fears in terms of something psychologists call the four major things or that we're attached to, sort of our attachment systems. I prefer to call it the four things that we need for survival that we're always concerned about. The four S's, in fact, they all start with S. The first one is sustenance. We need food, we need air, we need water. And our fear about getting enough of that was shown when we all hoard it, right? We ran to grocery stores, the crazy run on toilet paper for no reason was all herd mentality, right? As we copied each other. Um, that was our activation system of our striving for sustenance that was activated. Now I think that one can calm down a little bit. We know the supply chain is working well. The grocery stores are filling the shelves. We need to go once a week and get just what we need for our family. The second survival mechanism that human beings have is sex. And what I mean by that is I mean reproduction. That means family. It means acquiring a mate. It means keeping a mate. Uh, it means thinking about your own reproductive ability. And in this time, we're probably finding that despite rumors that the bedroom antics are at an all-time high during quarantine, the opposite is true. During stress, people's sex drive goes down. Plus, you got a lot of small kids in the house. Not a lot of time for adult playtime. So this may be causing people worry because it's just different, right? The third attachment system or survival strategy for humans is social. Nobody can survive alone. And in fact, putting people in deep isolation is one of the things that hurts us physically and mentally. And back in our hunter-gatherer past, of course, being separated from the tribe meant uncertain death. So we worry about keeping our social contacts because here we are quarantined, which isn't normal for us. We're supposed to be with lots of friends and family and coworkers on a regular basis. So this is heightening our fears. And finally, striving. Humans survive by looking ahead, by planning, by hoping, by thinking about the future. And right now everybody's stalled. They don't actually know when this will end. You know, research that's been done on people who have been isolated for long periods of time, either individuals who've experienced incarceration or astronauts who have been in a capsule for a long time, say that their mental health tended to go down around halfway through because they were counting the days, they were in a high at the beginning, I'm gonna get there, I'm gonna get there. When they hit halfway, they went, oh, I still have a whole halfway to go. And then in the weeks and months right before they knew their time was ending, their spirits lifted again. Our problem is we don't know when it's ending. And even when it does end, we're going to enter the world with some trepidation and we're going to do it carefully and we'll practice some form of social distancing for a very long time. So this brings a lot of anxiety for us. I think the most important thing is understanding that this is natural and it's normal and every single person is experiencing the same thing. Here's how I console myself about the two big fears. Remember, finances and health. Finances, I say to myself, hey, if I go down a big step in the world, everybody I know is also going down. So I'm going to feel the same stage on the ladder as I did before. Now my heart goes out and I plan to do a lot more charity work for the working poor and those living in poverty where this has thrown them for a very deep loop. And I think we all need to think about social safety nets for those less fortunate. And the health. All right, I'm thankful every day that I'm healthy and I'm quarantined here with my two young adult daughters. They are also healthy. But 
I do what I need to do to take precautions. When I purchase my groceries, I wash everything in hot soapy water before I put it in the fridge and cupboards. Uh, we don't go out very often at all. And when we do, we wear masks and gloves. We wash our hands a lot. And I'm careful not to exercise outside near other people who are breathing heavily. And so I'm assured that I've done everything I can to avoid bringing the coronavirus into my home. And this allays my fears. All right, take a deep breath, everybody. We are going to get through this. And I think part of understanding our natural mechanisms for fear can help us take a, take a step back and just look and go, ah, oh, that's what this is. <sighs> it will be over and there will be better days ahead. Here's another consoling thing. I read about the great Spanish flu. Did you know that quarantine was the thing that gave way to the roaring 20s and a huge economic boom? That's what's in our future, folks. Just hold on till we get there. I'm Dr. Wendy Walsh. You can listen to me every Sunday on KFI AM 640 in Los Angeles or listen to me live on the iHeartRadio app. Follow me anywhere online on at drwendywalsh.com. I'm Dr. Wendy Walsh. Mating Matters is the place to understand why we do what we do. It's the secret to winning the mating game. It's all explained using evolutionary psychology in my podcast, Mating Matters. Listen and follow Mating Matters on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you listen to your podcasts. Mating Matters.